Welcome back, my only true friends, to XCOM 2. Before we proceed, let's just pay respects to all the Diamond Dogs in Sickbay. Maybe once this is all over, we should take this ship and go colonize one of their planets. Incoming message for you, Commander. Patching it through to your first off, we get our first monthly report, with a statistics and a paycheck that we have to pick up somewhere in the world. Commander, we have intel After which, we're introduced to dark events. Our ability to stop the Avatar project. We can conduct guerrilla operations to disrupt one of these efforts, but we'll have to choose carefully. We don't have the resources to intercede everywhere. This works as a pest or cholera mechanic. You're given X amount of missions, but you can only take on one, and each mission has a negative side effect, a dark event, attached to it. So you can only prevent one, so you have to pick which one will affect you the least that month. And you're at the mercy of all the remaining ones. That means we'll have to Moving on, we get 61 supplies for helping a dude fix his truck. And soon thereafter, our research for resistance radio is complete. And we move our science teams to focus on butchering the corpses of our enemies. The Advent officers appear to be similar, if not physically the same as the common Advent trooper in terms of power and agility. However, field reports indicate a more developed mental acuity, as the officers do provide tactical directives to the subordinate Advent forces. After some scanning, we raise our monthly income from New India by 25. This will be a good, good reward in the long haul. And then we receive an ominous transmission. It looks like an encoded signal from the resistance. Patching it through to your quarters now. Seem your recent activities have gotten Advent's attention. Our unwelcome guests are on the move. Advent has been diverting considerable resources and personnel to covert facilities across the globe. The exact details of these operations are highly classified. However, they do have one thing in common. A single word that appears in all their files. Avatar. I believe the black site we had previously uncovered to be but a part of this Avatar project. Based on what we have uncovered so far, its true scope is far greater. This project is being directed from the very top of Advent, from a source I am still unable to determine. All attempts to uncover its identity have met with failure. It is time to take a more direct approach. Though we may not know the exact nature of this Avatar project, we can still disrupt it. We must root out these hidden facilities with the help of local resistance cells, disrupt our enemy's operations, and in the process, uncover the truth. Locate the source of this Avatar project, and then destroy it. Were the enemy to succeed in their efforts, I am certain it would mean the end for us all. I am confident you will take whatever measures necessary to eliminate this threat, Commander. We're tracking the aliens' progress on this Avatar project here. If they finish what they've started, it sounds like it'll be the end for all of us. So basically the short version is, we just got a doom clock. It raises with the advents progressing in building bases and expanding their operation, and it lowers when we ruin their shit basically. If it maxes out, really, really bad shit will happen. Literally a cough later, we are assigned a single guerrilla ops in New India. It's Operation Unceasing Bell in which we have to hurry the fuck up and destroy an alien relay. For this delicate task, we send out Fidster, Flagsbot, Piotr Seastone and Rasmus to wreak some serious havoc.
Sky Ranger deployed. Squad green to deploy. A hidden alien communications relay in this area is being used by Advent to transmit critical data back to their network. The loss of that data will stop their latest project in its tracks. So we're moving in to destroy the relay before they complete the transfer. We're expecting a strong contingent of security forces. Neutralize them and secure the site. Destroy that relay at all costs. Menace 1-5, the communications relay is up ahead. Move in and destroy the target. Once we I'm touch down on the ground, we do a usual player. quick survey of the area before we move out. The squad takes cover around this weird trike looking thing and we don't have to wait long before a patrol shows up. Since the entire squad is still concealed, we want to use this to our advantage. We're gonna follow this patrol around until we see a proper moment to strike. After some skulking about, Finn brings the thunder. They're on to us. At first, Advent deployed non-lethal stun units for crowd control and the occasional protest. We don't see a whole lot of that anymore. During our ambush, Piotr unfortunately misses his shot, and for some weird reason, Rasmus' overwatch doesn't trigger. Alright, so this newly introduced enemy here is the Lancer, and these are horrible enemies, which can really ruin a mission quickly. So Flax decides to save Rasmus, with a properly placed grenade. Of dirty, depressing people getting their shit ruined. After some carnage, it's once again time to hunt for the aliens who are scared little babies hiding in the darkness. No problem, boss. Moving to Overwatch. Here I come. Admin forces sighted. <laughs> However, we couldn't have known that he had reinforcements waiting in the shadows. Finster's quick reflexes earns him a promotion. Do this. Right now Rasmus can't move without being lit on fire, so our squad is forced to go on the defensive here. Whatever you say. Finster does what he can to help flank the enemy. Get it together. I'm running low on ammo. And Rasmus still can't take another step without being burned. Piotr does a risky move to aid his fellow squadmate in need. Cash. 
and Flexpot moves in for the assist. Ha, ha, ha. Rasmus finally decides he will be idle no longer, and through fire and flames he carries on. With the situation kinda under control, it's time to deal with the array before it's too late. I can handle that. Objective position confirmed. The transmission signal is fading. They've almost completed the transfer. This is your last chance to take out that relay. Please, load up your shotguns, join me around this Enemy barrel. reinforcements are incoming, so we gotta hurry fish. up. We've confirmed destruction of the relay. The alien transmission is down. Eliminate any remaining hostiles and move to evac. With the array taken care of, it's time to hunt for the reinforcements, which we know will be dropped somewhere beyond this RV. Well, if you're so clever, you fucking do it. Got some Advent here. Since the Advent took such uninspired cover, it's not Locking hard for us lit. to outflank them. Piotr even secures himself a promotion. And Rasmus and Flax deals with the remaining straggler. However, after the combat the mission isn't over, to my surprise, which means that we have at least one more group of enemies hiding somewhere in the shadows. After a short while of tracking, Fitster spots them, cowering behind the store. To make matters worse, there's a Lancer amongst them. Either Piotr or Fidster could get a beat on this elusive target, so Rasmus has to step in to dispense some painful justice. Hoping the sectoid will play by our rules, 
Flexbot decides to protect Piotr and goes into Overwatch. And this time we're in luck. Rasmus decides the first order of business is removing enemy cover. And then it's time to rain desolation and ruin upon our foes. Well, how about that? Raining ammo fast! Status confirmed. All hostiles are down and the area is secure. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. And thus, Operation Unceasing Bell is a great success. Once home, we send Rasmus to sickbay and promote the rest. Piotr joins the ranks of the sharpshooters. Fits well with his uh, glorious beret there. Flagspot deepens his hacking skills. Fidster can now shred armor on tougher foes. Excellent work, Commander. Your efforts continue to bolster the resistance movement across the globe. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time in XCOM 2.